thing that we really have to know about the agriculture sector in 2019 is that there's a huge focus from the government to actually make it tick. They're saying they want to give the farmer the final say in whatever it is that goes on in the agricultural sector. That's why at the start of this year, the president's address to the nation, he actually did reintroduce the Ministry of Cooperatives. That means giving more voice to the cooperatives and circles that are geared towards farmers within this economy. Now, therefore, the question therefore remains is that how can farmers therefore benefit from these circles that come up within the economy, which are way strengthened now more than ever by the reintroduction of the Ministry of Cooperatives? Good. And we're looking at it from the ways in which farmers can peg themselves onto it so they can actually get to benefit, bring themselves up and have the final say, whatever it is happens that is happening in the agricultural sector. This morning, we are privileged to tell you exactly how farmers can now peg themselves onto these circles, the process of actually getting this circle and the ideas behind this circle. We are privileged to be joined by the chairman of Farmhouse Circle Society Limited. Mr. Morris this morning. Muturi Karibu Sana. Thank you very much. Ah, quite a privilege to have you around. Thank you very much. Just take me back to what made you start this idea of your circle. Uh, thank you very much, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Simba, for that question. Uh, the genesis of this idea was two years back. Yes. Uh, I've been brought up in a community in Tharakanithi mm -hmm. called uh, uh, Gangawad. Yes. And one of the challenges that we're facing in that area is no cash crop. When we were going to education, when I was, my parents were educating me, we were educated through coffee. But it came a time because of the challenges of the coffee, many farmers got their coffee and now they have no cash crop at all. Yes. Then I started entertaining the idea of how can I be able to be uh, positive uh, to bring positive change to my community because I've been brought in that area. And then I started entertaining the thought of macadamia and avocado farming. Yes. I started doing some research, that is, was two years ago. I visited Kerinyaga, I went to Moranga, I went to Embu, just to entertain the thought, the thought, the thought can crystallize fully in my mind. Yes. And when I saw this as a very good economic uh, uh, appetite mm -hmm. for those areas, yes. I also went to some of the processors of uh, macadamia, the exporters and the people buy from the farmers. Then when I did my research, I had bought a small land in my community. Then I went and told my grandmother, you know what, I think let me start this journey of planting. So I, I planted on my five acre land uh, some avocados, macadamia. When I realized the importance of it, I started bringing some community people together yes. and start selling this idea. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Questions came. Others start asking me what to be up and going to take three years for it to grow. But time always pass. Mm -hmm. I was educated with coffee. And yes. the question I was posing to my community members is, you are educated with coffee. What will you educate your children with? Food that you're eating good, you feed them well, maize and beans, it may not educate them. Yes. And that's why many now going to bursaries and all kinds of things because though you are full, though your stomach is full, you have no coin in the pocket to take your child to school. Yes. And then I tell now we need to start discussing and entertaining the idea of cash crop farming mm -hmm. to enable us to take care of the future. Yes. So that was the genesis of that idea. Yes. And when I entertained that thought, I said, I will not tell people, let's go to this farming. I will start it myself and now tell them, follow me. Because this is the process and that I've taken. And this is the process, yes. Isn't it? Yes. It works in that direction. Absolutely. Good. Therefore, yes. one year ago, you decided, well, let me start a circle for them. Isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Uh, what happened is that after now, I've been, we began by an association used to call Avomac yes. Farmers. Avomac means avocado and, and macadamia and farmers. Yes. We call it Terakanithi Avomac. Yes. That is TNC Avomac. Yes. Avocado macadamia farmers. After a year, when I have planted for one year, and people could come to my farm and say, wow, this thing is growing very fast. What is happening? Yes. Then I called, uh, it were like 20 people whom I realized they are bought into my vision, and they are bought into my idea. We sat down together and asked themselves, we may be farming this avocado macadamia, 
But if we don't formalize this into a very workable economic system, then we will not be able to access the market well. Yes. Because you go to some of the exporters, one thing they will tell you is, I will need people to be organized. When you listen to the president or all the leaders that we have, you need to be organized. Because when you are organized, you can negotiate your prices very well. Oh, Why? Because if you look at in a community setup, we have people uh, living in different areas. So there's no exporter who will come walk from one house to another house collecting well, these goods. Connecting all that, because that it goes into expensive. time and cost as well. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when we say, what we organize ourselves, we yes. can say, as far as in this year, we are able to give you this number of tons of avocado, yes. this number of tons of macadamia. So any exporter will be interested to know those people. And yes. we can go tell them, Sawa, we are going to give you avocado. We are going to give you a macadamia. But can they negotiate the price? The hotel has maybe, for this farmer circle, we are going to buy at 100 shillings per kg, for example. Yes. That negotiation, and we execute an MOU with this exporter, it now trickles down to the farmer. Remember, as we form this circle, not every farmer has like 100 trees. Some have five, some have 10, yes. depending on the size of the land, others have 20. But now when you form as a group, you are five, a seen as if it's 100. Well, because you brought 5 kg, Maurice bring 20 kg. Yes. My friend Simba brought 100 kg. Yes. When I'll be telling the exporter, I won't be telling to come and pick 5 kg. Yes. I'll be telling me I have 1,000 kg. That's it. That's it. Come mm -hmm. for it. And they tell me I'll come for it on Wednesday. Yes. I'll tell my farmers, let's all harvest, let's all plant this. The exporter is coming to collect the goods on Wednesday. Yes. And everybody in the morning wake up on our farms and do our work. Yes. We take it that we use to take coffee. He comes and collects, he parks his car here, collect them and go. At that particular time, every exporter or processor will be interested in this community. And Pretty that's much. how the community grows. Yes. yes. So tell me exactly how exponentially you've been able to grow since you started this circle. Yes. Have the farmers entertained the idea of joining this circle? And then, other than just getting this market, yes. what have been the other benefits therefore the farmers have been able to accrue from your circle as well? Absolutely. When you began, I began alone. As, as you are realizing when you're beginning a journey, mm. you have to walk. Gotta take the first steps alone, man. First steps. Yes. Because people ask you, ah, let, let, let's see this guy. Yes. You know, someone in our community, they will tell me, Ah, uh, this young man, let's see what he's doing. You know, some, it's very hard sometimes to yeah, trust a young yeah, man with, idea, with these big ideas. <laughs> so what happened is yes. I started planting. Yes. I got the 10 people. Mm -hmm. uh, the people are passing through my farm. I got interested. What are you doing? What are you doing? I, ga I gave them the, the future because if you want people to follow you, yes. don't tell them about yourself. Yes. Let them see the vision. Let them buy and anchor the vision. And I was able to look at the vision and people this and allow them to dock into it. They be able to see, wow, with this macadamia tree, I can pay my school fees? Yes. With this macadamia tree, I can pay for medical bills? Yes. When I attach that value to the land, the custom, the, the member has, yes. they'll see the value. Yes. So the first year, we were only 20, as you're saying, beginning by 20. The second year, I've gone to 50. As we speak today, we have 200 members. Oh, that's a big number, isn't it? And we launched the circle formally last year yes. in terms of registration. Yes. We just launched it last month. But currently we have 200 members. I already have a list of more than 1,000 farmers interested to join this circle. Yes. Why? Because they have seen, wow, this thing has a capacity to transform. So I'm proud to say in a small span of one year, we have been able to show interest of more than a thousand farmers, interest to go to this journey. Yes. And now the blue are three, we have 200. Now, another benefit that has been there, I had to do a lot of members education. Because unless you understand, you may not be able to follow. Yeah, which was actually my next question now for, isn't it? Yes. Um, when you look at the farmers that you work with, you, know, you had this idea, therefore, you're trying to tell them, okay, just come on board, therefore, yes. for us to actually form a circle that's going to help us have a market command, yes. which you currently don't have as a single farmer. Yes. When you put them on that level, therefore, and see how much well knowledgeable are they of the benefits of joining a circle, did you see anything that was lacking? That's a big challenge. Why? Because you're dealing with farmers, some of them have no education. Yes. 
never gone to school. Yes. So you must be able to cascade and to bring down the vision that you have to a level of somebody who never went to school. I see. In terms of bringing it down, one word, one word, until they understand and they fall, because nobody will follow you unless they understand where you're going. Yes. Now, I had to do a lot of education, and we developed four pillars of farmers. First one, we say we want to do socio-economic development. Secondly, we want to do farmers' education. And also, what we want to do, we want to make sure there is quantity, quality, and price value of what the farmers produce. Yes. So I'll go back. Sometimes I used to go to a church, and I request the minister, please, can you give me five minutes to preach my gospel? Because that's my gospel. Yes. That's my gospel. gospel. Maybe I can call it to St. Maurice or something. That's a gospel. That's my gospel. gospel. <laughs> it is changing yes. life. Yes. I'll tell the members, listen, yes. please, please give me five minutes. Yes. Have you asked yourself how you are going to change the future? Mm -hmm. Because number one, Simba and Motuila, as you hear, we are growing old. We are not growing younger. Yes. Today, my kid will ask me for 20000 to pay uh, school fees for primary school. Yes. Some years down the line, they will ask me for 500000 to pay for university. Pretty much. The question is, mm -hmm. how will I pay? So I brought people down. Sometimes they had to sit down and do some simple calculations. I asked a farmer. You have one acre, right? How much can you produce in terms of maids? They tell me I'll produce 20 bags of maids in this one acre. Yes. Then the farmer tell them, they tell them now, set to me those 20. Currently, there are people produce a lot because there's good rain. They'll sell one bag at 3,000. Fine. I'll give you 60,000 shillings. The cost of producing that 20 bags, I can tell you, is of almost 50% cost. I'm not counting on the labor intensity yes. of that. Yes. So when I've given you 60,000 shillings, 30,000 has gone to cost, and that's one acre. Then I tell the farmer, let me try to bring a different concept. In this one acre, you can put 50 trees of macadamia. Right, one tree of macadamia, when it is maybe seven years, five years, it can give you 10,000. One tree. In that one acre, you can plant 50, 70 trees. Let me assume you have planted only 50 trees in that one acre. And one tree is giving you 10,000. So in that one year, you have 500,000. The same acre that was giving you just 60,000. 60, it has it? the capacity yes. to give you 500,000. Yes. Then I ask a simple question. With 500,000, can you pay school fees? Yes, you can. Can you build good houses? Yes, yes you, you can. can. Isn't it? Yes. But with 60,000, it comes because assuming you have three or four, and they have gone to university. We start now following our leaders for bursaries and yes. everything. Mm -hmm. Then I, tell, I told them, listen, can I give you a bursary by giving you four trees? Yes. Because I had to spend my own cost to give some people free kind of seedlings. Yes. So that they can see what I'm building is mm -hmm. real. So when you look at those mm -hmm. kind of mathematics, yes. it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I can, with 500, this one acre can give me 500? Yes. It has a point give me 60. So the same way we normally say, yes. two options here, choose life or choose death. De Pretty much. Let's grow together. Let's, so let's grow together. Yes. Pretty much. And I, I want to point you out to another area, therefore, yes. that has been quite the talk in 2019. You saw exactly the biggest talk around circles. Number one was mismanagement. Absolutely. And number two is farmers kept on saying, and people kept on saying that we've actually opened our doors to middlemen in these circles. Yes. Do you believe, therefore, that the talk about circles has changed in 2020? And if farmers really need to organize themselves, that the only way to actually having a common voice is yes. to get onto the circles. Yes, a yes. lot has happened yes. and a lot of change. And it is true what you said. Mismanagement. I'll form a circle because of my personal interest. I have no interest. All mm -hmm. I'll form a circle with a lot of ambiguity. Yes. It's like an, a, a, a performance group that does nothing. Nowadays, if you have to register a circle, there must be something you're calling the common board. The economic common board. Mm -hmm. Like when we are registering this, I have to declare and say our common law is farming of avocado and, and macadamia. macadamia. But it has to be very clear yes. and very stated. Mm -hmm. Because now we have the first question that the couple now will ask you, what is this center? What are you bringing people around? Yes. Many circles are messed because of lack of intake of the leadership. Others will form the circle because they want to money. They money. Even we have even circles in our locals and 
areas where people have lost money. If you see what the, what the president did and, 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 and he using his uh, exec executive uh, order that was, I think, in 2018, June, yes. where he told the State Department of Cooperatives they need to formulate policies that will be able to guide and strengthen the circles. Yes. And they have recognized circle as one pillar for industrialization. Mm -hmm. And one document they wrote that was talk about promoting uh, societies for industrialization. They did a lot of work, which that document, that they should be able to be finalized. It, it is in the draft now. Yes. But we have seen a lot of change of mentality. Now, the challenge also we have is what I may call the paradigm shift. Yes. Moving one person from here to here, especially having been in a circle where he has lost money. I see that because that's, that's <laughs> going to be the <laughs> conversation, <laughs> exactly. isn't it? <laughs> then one yes. of the questions I, yes. I was asked in a meeting, mm -hmm. why should I trust you? Because I've lost money. I've lost obviously. money. Yes. You know, you tell me, you know that circle? Yes, I know it. I lost money in that I circle. I said that my yeah. 100,000, it went. Why should I trust you? Yes. One of the things I did, I said, one, we have to have a very strong corporate governance in this circle. Yes. So I called people from different sectors and different areas. I told them, listen, when we are appointing the board members, we have to cut across in all areas, all areas that People even more don't know who have brought them together and say, let's move this journey. So yes. the corporate governance is very, very important. And I told them, I am not inviting you to a agenda I've not taken. I have begun here yes. and I'm moving. So that is changing now, but it's taking a while. Why? Because there's still fear. Why don't you have lost money? I know money is very sensitive. Money is very sensitive. Very yeah. sensitive. Especially when you have to farm for it, and then after that you go and lose it. it. Yes. So the next thing that has happened also, apart from the government coming up with these policies and making sure everything is strengthened very well, I think the most important thing is the integrity of the leadership. Yes. Because these people are given you. You're occupying a stewardship position. Mm -hmm. Must be able to be faithful and to offer with a lot of integrity, and that is why it will succeed Pretty because much. They, are, they are doing well yes yes just so that before we end this conversation i'm gonna ask you this because i'm getting told that we only have two minutes yes good before you tell me exactly the future for farm or yes. that you actually have now yes i want to point you out what is happening in Muranga now because Correct. you are an avocado farm yes, yes. There, is an, there is an avocado processing and marketing bill yes which actually states that there should be a set price yes for all the avocados, yes. there should be registering of farmers. If yes. you want to cut your tree, if you want to plant, you got to register. Yes. So that now they bring, they know who is this, how many that you got, mm -hmm. and who's selling. They say that is the best way to market the avocados mm -hmm. and also cut down on middlemen. Yes. But they took some both sides. The senator actually himself yes. came out and said, no, we don't need this bill. Yes. Where do you stand as an avocado farmer in this bill? And do you think, therefore, that suckers are doing the same, same thing mm -hmm. that this bill is proposing in a better way? Uh, the spirit, yes. my opinion, the spirit of that bill is good. Yes. However, they just need to do a lot of fine-tuning and amendment. Because yes. number one, the, one of the things they are proposing is to control the entry and the exit of that. If I want to cut my tree, I have to consult you. Now, if they can fine-tune it, yes. I know the main challenge with the farmers it's not even the circle, it's the marketability of their produce. Am I guaranteed that I'm going to sell my produce? Mm -hmm. So that one, if they can address that, then it's okay. Because now circles are organizing members who now we can take advantage of this. So the spirit of it, I welcome it because number one, one of the things that is making farmers suffer a lot is the brokers in between you. Yes. You find that a broker will come and buy one avocado at one shilling. He is going to sell at 10 shillings. So who has benefited? It's the, the broker. broker. Actually. So yes. what I can propose is that I don't mind having a middle person, but that that middle person be licensed to come and buy the produce, and he is going to buy at the market price. If, for example, you want to be the middle person because you're not, maybe you have been appointed by a particular company that is exporting as yes. a middle person to come and buy from the farmers, yes. I have no issue. But you need to be licensed. And also, when you come in to buy, the price is controlled. You have you to buy the market. Know exactly how much. Exactly. Exactly. And the farmer knows. That the the farmer knows. It's very clear. Isn't it? Like now, yes. what the government is doing, yes. they are announcing, they will announce that the price for Macadamia, the entry price. They say, Macadamia now price is 100. Pretty However, yes. the challenge on the ground is a farmer who does not have money. He has a school fees problem. Mm -hmm. He has an hospital bill. A broker come and tell them, okay, I'll buy them at uh, two shillings. They have avocado. Then the farmer will think about the problem I have. 
then they'll sell at two shillings. Two shillings, and that's the kind of exploitation. It, it, that that's exactly into. what is happening. And I, I would like to believe that also circles now come in to mitigate this exactly. issue, isn't it? Yes. But if you want to buy from us, this is the price that you've got to buy. That's what you've done. It's either you take it or you don't, yes. isn't it? Like I've met some of the exporters, and I yes. told them, listen, we are going to have a, NEMO, a workable MOU with yes. us. But be buying a When we sign that, still I'll buy it at market price. If market is under shillings, it's take it. I'll give, give it, give All it right. to you. Mr. Mutori, just in two se in actually ten seconds, because yes. we are out of time. Yes. Tell me the picture that you have for farmhouse society limited. The outlook I have for farmhouse is in the next five years we should be able to have a fossa, a bankable circle. For now it's back off. Talk about bankable fossa. Secondly, when we reach a critical mass, which I call it the critical mass that most of our members have avocado and macadamia, one of the things I've entertaining is to be able to see a factory in our area which can be able to offload all those products from the farmers. Now that will create employment, that will make sure that the farmers don't lose their produce. Yes. If we can have a factory on the ground, then we have solved this problem. Pretty much. Thank Mr. you very much. Mr. Maturi, thank you very much for joining us here at Metropole TV. Guess what? We shall be calling you when we have issues about avocado. I know there's a lot well, there for us. We can actually talk about this. We've not even spoken about our export opportunities. We do not know what our chances with China are Absolutely. up to now, isn't it? Yes. Guess what? You'll be the right guy that we shall be calling. Thank you very, very much. much. Now you do know. Now we've been speaking with Mr. Mutuiri Morris, is the chairman of Farmer Circle Society Limited. He's dealing into issues avocado and macadamia farmers and he's saying that circles are the only way they are for for the farmers in this country to represent themselves as a one voice cutting down the middle them middlemen and getting what they deserve from each and every unit that comes out of their farms thank you very much for watching and the good thing is you can actually go to youtube right now take him all the way back to when he walked into the studio at YouTube Live. You can also do the same at Facebook and Twitter at Metropole TVKE. Talk to us 2146. That is our SMS line. And my Charles underscore key again. I'll meet you at 11, 12 and 1 for Metropole News. Good morning.